Hey everyone, welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will show you how to prevent MailChimp emails from going to the spam. I've prepared you more than 10 uh, tips to, uh, to help you with your MailChimp not going to the spam. And the first thing that can help you with avoiding the spam folder is to authenticate your custom email domain. To do that in MailChimp is simple. Just click on your uh, profile icon from this corner, go to account and billing, go to domains, long story short, connect your domain with MailChimp and to start the authentication. I am right now in the process of auth authenticating my domain name. As you can see, it can take up to 40 hours to complete this step. It's simple. Just link uh, MailChimp with your domain. And with this simple work, your MailChimp emails will start avoiding the spam. Two, be transparent as you get your recipient's email addresses. Clearly state how you use your email addresses and how and and how much emails they will receive from you. The third point is to only get double opt-in subscribers. What I mean with this is to that your recipients or your subscribers should confirm their email addresses to join your email list. This little strategy helps you avoid spammy addresses that that will not open your emails. Number four, ask your recipients to favorite your email mark it as not spam and or add you to their safe sender list small actions like this from your recipients help you be recognized and trusted by email providers number four personalize the two field with the recipient's first name this makes your email feel more personal and relevant to do this in uh, in mailchimp just let's create a regular email Next to two, click on edit recipients, then check this box next to personalize the send to field. Let's, let's use the merge tag or, uh, or the first name, or let's see custom, or just use the first name, hit save. And just like that, your uh, two field will show as two, uh, your, your recipient first name instead of uh, to its email address. Sex always have an easy to find unsubscribe link. Fortunately, uh, MailChimp by default have an easy to find unsubscribe link by default. So no action are needed or required from your end. Seven, avoid spam trigger words like guarantee, no risk or limited time. These words or these spammy words can raise red flags with spam filters. Before I continue this tutorial, I would like to let you know that you can get access to my MailChimp online course today for free. Inside this course, you will learn many things including how to set up your MailChimp account, how to manage your audience inside MailChimp, also how to create a campaign and manage it, how to create landing pages and forms, integration and API, email customization and personalization, export and download, and also troubleshooting and maintenance. To get all of this today for free, plus these online courses in my university, all you need to do is to go to university.bensexperience.com, link in the description. Without any further ado, let's continue our tutorial. Number eight, from time to time, clean your email list for inactive subscribers. Cleaning your email list from inactive subscriber will help you avoid lowering your open rate, for example. Number nine, segment your audience to send targeted uh, content. Sending relevant content to specific group can increase your engagement and reduce spam complaints. Number 10, provide valuable content in your email. Always remember that your emails should add something positive to the reader. Always try to add a value to the email or to your recipients. Number 11, avoid overwhelming subscribers with too many emails. This depends, but I recommend you to stay with two to three maximum emails per week. Number 12, EB test your subject lines to see which ones result in better open rates. This is really 
good number 13 don't use too many images in your emails always balance your emails with text and images to avoid triggering spam filters because spam emails are most of the time uh, images or use lots of images number 14 avoid uh, image only emails i think this is uh, pretty much similar and number 15 always include alternative text for images this helps convey your message even if the images don't load and this is uh, is more for the spam triggers than the user number 16 don't use url shorteners this is uh, oh, this is a very big uh, spam trigger don't use uh, url shorteners and if you want to use it use it on your domain number 17 avoid linking to suspicious or blacklisted domains this is self-explanatory and the last tip is to don't hide links in images without text alternative always provide a visible text link in addition to any clickable images and that's all for this video don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe thank you